ولقد بعثنا في كل أمة رسولا أن اعبدوا الله واجتنبوا الطاغوت That is the most powerful message we have. Allah says, we sent to every nation messengers to warn them, to tell them to worship Allah alone and to protect themselves from the devil and the devil's plan and anything that is earning the anger and the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Top of the list is association of partners with Allah. That is the top of the list. And as I mentioned today in the Jumu'ah talk, wallahi, a very important point. Ask yourself, why did Allah send the messengers? He sent the messengers to show us how to worship Him. That's what He sent the messengers for. So if we believe that and we understand that Allah sent the messengers to show us how to worship Him, will we be able to engage in innovation? The answer is no. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of creation, was held until he was known as the last Nabi. If Allah wanted, he could have sent him to another nation. But Allah sent him to us in order to show us how to worship Allah and in order to give us the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I come up with an act of worship that I claim is going to please Allah and if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not teach it and did not do it, then I am undermining this great messenger either by claiming indirectly that he forgot to teach us something or that I know better than him or that he has deceived Allah by not conveying a message that was supposed to be conveyed. Na'udhu Billah, may Allah protect us from that type of behavior and from innovation. So this is why when people talk of innovation, remember brothers and sisters, people will be divided into two categories. Those who get upset, well, look at what happened to those who got upset in the past. When you are called towards Allah and His Rasul, what happens is people become upset. Why is this man saying this is an innovation? Ask yourself, is it an innovation? If it is, drop it, cut it out. No matter how tasty it was. No matter how tasty it is. An innovation needs to be dropped and cut. Because look at those in the past who innovated. What happened? They were considered as people who were not obedient to the messengers. They were ultimately destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What was the point of sending the messenger? If I knew better than the messenger what to do? So this is why shaitan comes to us just like he did to the previous nations. And he tries to massage us and to make this innovation so sweet. No, but I'm only doing this, you know. I'm only doing that. It can only be good. You know, it is only that. 